Hey guys, welcome back to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial. Today I'm going to be doing an update tutorial on my door opening ones as the engine is updated, meaning that there's no longer a matinee legacy here. It's now a level sequence, so I'm going to be showing you how to use that. Now this update came out quite a while ago, but I've noticed there isn't really any new tutorials on this, so I'm going to be showing you how to do that here. So again, this is just going to be a very simple opening door animation, which is just the basic part of using this level sequence, which obviously you can adapt to use however you want. So let's get right into it. So what we're going to do first is make sure that we select our door here that we want to open, go up to cinematics up here, and now instead of hitting matinee, what we're going to do is add level sequence. So add level sequence there, and then obviously choose where you want to save this. So I'm just going to do it here, I'm going to call this door opening ls for level sequence like that. Hit save, and then make sure again that you reselect this door here, and then go into this matinee here. And now you can tell this is quite different from the matinee itself. So make sure that you again reselect the door and then go into the level sequence. So if you hear me call it matinee it's just because I'm used to it so sorry about that but obviously I mean level sequence. Then you're going to hit the plus track up here in the top left and then actor to sequence and you're going to add sm underscore door which is obviously my door static mesh so just select what you want to add and hit the add there. And this can be for a static mesh, a blueprint, anything. It just means the animation for this. And you see I already have this transform here but if you don't then what you're going to do is hit the plus track here, go down and then hit transform there. But I see I already have it. So then open up the transform there by clicking the arrow. And what we're going to be doing is messing around with the rotation. So obviously you can move it about with location, change its size with scale. But as we're just opening it, we're going to be using the rotation here. Now you want to make sure that you get the right one. So if I just make that like that, so I can see what we're going to be doing is messing about with the yaw. So we want to mess about with the yaw there. So you can see the yaw is 180 at the start. We're going to want to change this to let's say 290. So if you put it into open position, see what it is there, like so. So let's put that closed again. So our starting position is closed. So let's keep it like that and then open this up again. And now we want to set how long we want this to be. So for the timing up here, this is slightly different again. This is now in frames instead of seconds. So as you can see up here, we're running in 30 FPS, which is 30 frames a second, meaning that for every 30 frames, so here it's a second. So this is one second, this is two seconds, this is three. So I think what I want this to be is a three second long animation. So I'm just gonna drag this red line here down to the 90 frames mark there, meaning that we have 90 frames at 30 frames a second, which is three seconds long. So then this little timeline slider here, we want to put this at the start of our animation and then hit this little dot here next to your, which is adding a keyframe at the start, meaning that at the start of the animation, the door looks like this. So now if we drag this all the way to the end of our animation, like so, so at 90 frames, we then put our door into the open position we want it to be, or you can change it down here, and again hit add keyframe there, you can see that that should now open it. So if we just drag this slider along, we should see that is now working and it's opening perfectly. So now one last step before we do this is right click on here, go to properties and then when finished, keep state. Which means that once it's opened, or once it's finished this animation, sorry, it will stay in the position it finished at. Otherwise it will just go back to the closed position, which obviously we don't want. So now if we hit the save button here, we should be done with this and we can now close it. So now to fire it off, it's very simple as what it was before. So what we're gonna do is get a box collision up here. So box trigger there, drag that in and just resize it to however big you want it to be. So this is basically, if you're in this box trigger here, you can open the door. So just have this the size you want it to be for where you can be to open the door. So I think that is gonna be good for me. Now we're gonna to go to the level blueprint. So go blueprints, open level blueprint like this. I'm just gonna make that a bit smaller and we're gonna make sure that we have this box trigger selected, right click in here and then just add a begin overlap for that box trigger and then we'll also add an end overlap as well. And then also while we're here, we're just gonna drag a reference to this door opening level sequence as well. So just drag and drop that in there like that. So we can make this bigger again. What we're gonna do is actually minimize this and get a interact key. So if we go to edit, project settings, and if we go down to input down here, you can open action mappings, hit plus, and I'm just gonna call this one interact and what this basically means is that if we press this key we can fire off code so if we get e or whichever one you want it to be like that and you can add as many as you want as well it just means that if we call the interact action mapping it's going to be on the e key so this is good if you want to add multiple ones or if you want to be able to change it in settings or anything like that 
So we can close that and go back into our level blueprint again, right click, and if we just search for interact, whatever you just called it, we can get that there. So if we just come straight off of the pressed and then get a gate like so, that should go into enter, the begin overlap should go into open and the end overlap should go into close like that. So if you are in the box trigger and you press E, it will fire off this code here. But if you leave the box trigger and press E, nothing's going to happen, which is what we want. And if we drag our level sequence over here and then drag off of it and get our sequence player. So get a sequence player down the bottom there under playback and then drag off of this and then just get play. So play like that and we want to move that just down a little bit. And off of exit, what we're going to do is come out and get a flip-flop, like so. And then off of A, we're just going to simply play it, like that. And then we'll come off of the sequence player again, and then we'll get a reverse. And this is to simply close it. So play reverse, that goes into B, like that. So it's very small changes to matinee, but obviously if you don't know what you're doing, it can be quite confusing. So it should look something like this. So again, very similar, but it's changed ever so slightly. So if we hit compile, minimize and hit play to test this, you should see that this should work. So we can walk up to it, hit E, when we're in that collision, it opens the door. And if we hit it again, when we're in there, it closes it like that. And it stays in the closed and open position that we chose. So if we're over here and we hit E, nothing happens. If we are in it, it then will open the door. And we can then also close it again if we're in it as well. And this also works in first person, so if I try this again, it opens like so, and then we can also close it as well. So that works perfectly, so I think that'll be it for this video. We've done everything we wanted to do, we've created it so we can open up and close our door using the new level sequence cinematic in Unreal Religion 4, which replaced the matinee sequence. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.